Hello, this screencast is about valence electrons. Valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost shell, and these are the ones that can be gained or lost during um, a bond and can be shared during a bond. And how you decide how many valence electrons you have in any element is you either draw the Lewis structure, as shown here on the left, or you look on the periodic table. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the electrons that are in this um, image. They have, you have your nucleus here that has your protons and your neutrons. And then in this first ring, we have two electrons. And in our next ring, we have four electrons. So if we were identifying this particular substance, we would say that it has six electrons total. And when we look at it, we know that the first energy level has two. So they are the inside electrons, or the core electrons. And then in the second energy level, we have four electrons. So our valence would have four electrons. Um, so we can use those four electrons can be gained or lost or shared for a bond. Recapping, any time that you have a Lewis structure where you have the rings, the valence electrons will be determined by the outermost energy level, so the ones on the outside of the whole atom, and all you do is count them. Um, do be careful that you do not include any uh, electrons in the D section in your outer energy level. We are only going to focus on the S's and the P's, then more about that on the next screen. All right, so when you're looking at the periodic table and you want to figure out the number of valence electrons, there are um, there's an easier way to do it than just drawing a Lewis structure. You look at where the element is on the periodic table, and we can count to figure out how many are in the outer shell. Um, remember that you have the S section here, the P section here, the D section here, and the F is down on the bottom. You are only going to use the S's and the P's to find valence electrons. When you are looking for your element's valence electrons, for instance, if we were, um, let's say we're using um, oxygen right here, we are going to look at just the row that the element is in. So first you're going to find your element. The second is identify just its row. And the third is we're going to count the S's and the P's only, including your element. So if we're looking at oxygen, as I just selected, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So oxygen would have six valence electrons. If we were to um, look, for instance, down here on tellurium, we would start here on its row. We would count one, two, three, four, five, six. So tellurium also has six valence electrons. Recall, we do not count any on the D section. We do not do those. Uh, they are on one of the inner energy levels. And if you go back to tellurium's um, shorthand configuration, we would start with Kr, and then we would continue on from Kr. We would have one, two, three, four, five. We would have five S2, 4d10, 5p4. And if you look at the numbers, 5, 4, and 5, what are the outer energy levels? Well, this is in the outer energy level, and this is in the outer energy level. So combining the s's and the p's is how we get our 6. You have the 2 here, and you have the 4 there, which lead you to 6 valence electrons for tellurium. All right, here I would like you to try a couple um, on your own, and then I will solve them after a bit. So I want you to do number one. I would like you to do the valence electrons for phosphorus. And number two, I would like you to try the valence electrons for iodine. And let's do a third one. Number three, I would like you to try to figure out the valence electrons for, uh, let's do calcium. So when you have a chance here, pause the recording, solve for the valence electrons for those three elements, and then um, press play again, and we'll continue on with the answers. Okay, so phosphorus, number one, is over here. 
Uh, so we're going to count over to phosphorus. One, two, three, four, five. So phosphorus has five valence electrons. Iodine is here. We are going to count the S's and the P's for the row that it's in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So iodine has seven. And last, calcium, we count one, two. So calcium is two. All right, so recapping. Valence electrons. We have one way we can count from the Bohr model the outer ring. You can um, you can count S's and P's on the periodic table. Or you can look at the noble gas configuration and add the S's and the P's. Um, there are three different ways to find valence electrons. Remember, valence electrons are what you use for bonding, and they are also going to be um, part of why re chemicals react or elements react the way they do.